And one of my favorite hadith, honestly, one of the very favorite, I'm sure everybody has like a series of, of, of different favorite hadiths, you know, that you've heard over time. Certainly, one of my most favorite hadith is a hadith in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is sitting with his companions, and it's a difficult time. And I think this is, subhanAllah, it's so, um, it, I, all, when, I, when I reread this hadith, all I could think of was Gaza. Uh, that's all I could think of, was Gaza. And he's because he's describing a time in which there has been uh, a battle that's happened, and it's the aftermath of the battle. So it's chaos. There's been death, there's been destruction, there's chaos happening. And there's a mother who's running frantically through all this chaos trying to find her child. You've seen images and I've seen images of Gaza. And you have seen this exact image play out on your screen. Where a mother is running, calling, trying to find where the child is. Are they alive? Are they under rubble? Are they lost? Where are they? Are they with a neighbor? Where are they? So here, in a parallel story, the, it's the Prophet وسلم, and he's witnessing a mother running through all this chaos trying to find her child. And then she finds him. And she picks the child up, and the first thing she does is nurse him. Have you seen some of the videos where a mother is reunited with her child in Gaza? Where they don't know where the child is for periods of time, and then they're found? Maybe they were with a neighbor, or maybe they were just stuck somewhere, or whatever it may be. And the kind of, and you, many of you who are mothers, or are spiritual mothers, if you're not biological mothers, you have a sense of what that's like to lose and then to find. Do you know that feeling? When you lose and then find? It's like this in incredible tension and then <gasps> a relief, right? An immense release. And you're so overtaken by emotion that all you can do is cry. Even though you're happy, but all you can do is cry. It's just this release of emotion that happens. And so the Prophet وسلم, is looking at this entire scene of the mother who's running through, trying to find her child and, and calling out, calling out, and eventually finds the child and then immediately nurses this child. And so the Prophet وسلم, turns to his companions and he says, do you see this mother? Do you think that this woman would take that child, she's nursing him, yeah? Would take this child and throw the child into the fire? And the companions are like, <laughs> what, what, a, what a strange question, right? She finally found this child that she was so earnestly looking for. And they said to him, no, by Allah, she would never do such a thing. And then the Prophet وسلم, says, Allah the exalted is more merciful with his slaves, his ibad, than this woman is with her child. And in this narration, you understand the kind of mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has. 